Oh no, it is a Forza Horizon Cat. The definition of work in progress. When the game first came out, it was kind of like. But the frequent updates built the game up to be something amazing. Now these updates were kind of hit or miss for me and the whole community. They were either incredible, changed the feel of the game, gave us brand new unexpected features, which were absolutely game changing, literally. Or they made us go... What? So in this video I've gone through 10 updates that we desperately need to improve the game for its foreseeable future. Now some of these updates are easy to add, some of them are slightly trickier, but one thing I can guarantee you is that all of you guys watching it, you, Jack, Frank, James, uh, Hannah, I can guarantee you that all of you guys watching it will want all of these updates to happen in the game. None of you are going to be like, oh what about, what about this, this was kind of weird isn't it? Nope, none of that, all of these are some fire updates you know. Anyways before we get into this video let's try and hit today's light goal of 7,000. 500 likes yeah the more people that like the video the higher the chances are that one of the developers may watch this video it's true your like may be the reason why i become the next creative director for Forza Horizon 5 so <laughs> snap that like button if you want to see me on the stage of e3 in 2022 that's such a big flex i don't even care anyways do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new as well we're trying to hit 145,000 subscribers by the end of this month and any help will be greatly appreciated thank you very much and without further ado let us get into Hey, this video. Number one, new showcase events. Although there's many things Forza can improve on, there's one thing that Forza are absolutely incredible at, and that's recycling old events to make it seem brand new, but still being incredibly boring, repetitive, and predictable. The Vulcan vs Vulcan race was recycled by switching the Aston Martin to a Lamborghini Countach, an 812 Superfast, and various other cars, just to make the event seem brand new, which it clearly wasn't. It was the same route, same competitive race, which always lets you win even if you cross the line last. And I think we can all agree that this method is a very lazy boring method to pump out new content. Anyways, as hard as it would be to implement, I feel like brand new showcase events is the answer. Instead of dirt bikes, hovercrafts, trains, pelicans and planes, let's spice things up a little bit. We clearly see that the devs at Forza are extremely talented at scanning brand new cars into the game every month, with the interior and engine bay perfectly rendered. So why not take advantage of this for showcase event vehicles? Let's have new planes like a Concorde, a Spitfire, a Boeing 747, or even try swapping the train for a showcase event with the Eurostar. And this will be pretty easy to make as the developers only need to focus on the car's exterior instead of the engine bay and interior and like Forza Vista stuff. So yep, that's my first update request to get brand new showcase events. New music. Now this is a complaint Justin HTI brought up in one of his last videos and I completely agree. Whenever you go to the festival in Horizon Britain, you're greeted with the same music all the time. How many times have you heard this song? In Horizon 4 there's a lack of good songs. There's literally no song in the game that I like. Most of them are just good songs but remixed terribly. So my solution is to add a couple new songs in every update. Yep, licensing for new songs may be a little bit pricey but not all newly added songs need to be signed to a major label. There's plenty of non-copyrighted music that will fit perfectly for Horizon Britain. For example, this is what the festival is like standard. Now this is what it's like with new music. See what I mean? Adding new characters. Now it's very rare to hear or even be able to interact with current characters in the game. And when we do, it's either Kira, Rebecca, Alex or Jay that we constantly hear all the time on the radio. And hearing only these characters can get pretty repetitive. So what's the solution? Adding new characters. And this would be a very easy addition to the game as well. As Forza Horizon 4 doesn't bother with any cutscenes, meaning the developers don't have to worry about doing any CGI work, syncing the characters, they can just get an audio file of the narration done by various voice actors, give those characters names and then just put them into the game. That way it gives the game more character, literally. Although in the future Horizon games we definitely need cutscenes, like seriously they are so important, like please get them. New wheels. I was about to refrain from doing any mods in this video but I had to include this one. But don't worry this is the only mod on the list. Anyways with every Forza game since Horizon 3 we've been getting some new wheels constantly added into the game which is very good. Although these brand new wheels further enhance customization as a whole, it got boring 3 months after the game's release. So just imagine how cool it would be if they add like 4 or 6 new wheels each month. There are so many wheels missing from the game that we would all love to see. Cosmos MR7s, TE37 SLs, Watson CVTs, Workmaster S1Rs, there are so many that we need in the game. Plus adding a few more 
wheels per month could result in the game's customization competing with Need for Speed Heat's customization. And that's on a whole nother level. So fingers crossed that we'll see some new wheels added to the future updates to the game. We need more mini games. I rarely play mini games in Forza Horizon 4 because they all feel way too repetitive like a copy and paste from Horizon 3 but with a worse map apart from the Eliminator which was genuinely an incredible addition to the game not gonna lie. So my solution is to of course add more mini games into the game. You know how Jack Automotive can't do city camouflage in Horizon 4 because of the annoying challenge pop up? Why don't the devs disable this and make it an actual Horizon 4 mini game? Give a bunch of players access to certain traffic cars in the game and I mean traffic cars not poorly made replicas of traffic cars. Let the seeker choose their own car. Give them 5 lives to guess all the fake AI drivers. Of course it's easier said than done but hey that's an idea for you. Or even a police mini game. We have quite a few cars in the game with police light options so let a bunch of people make their own police cars and have a bunch of other people be the robbers and then you can have a cops and robbers mini game in Forza Horizon 4 like how fun would that be? Again it's easier said than done but I'd love to see more mini games just like this implemented into Forza Horizon 4. An extension to the main story. Do you guys remember when Horizon games used to have good storylines? Aha oh, the good old days. Well it would be hard to extend the current game story because of the lack of a story existing but here is my idea. You're randomly driving then Kira's on the phone. Uh, top of the morning Toya. Listen Horizon's in a lot of debt and we have to pay 100 grand within half an hour can't you do that? And then you could do some quick missions flip some cars for profit until you make 100 grand. <laughs> this would be one of the slightly more difficult updates they can add into the game but it'll definitely keep us players returning onto the game consistently. As well as YouTubers too. I mean when's the last time that Black Panther or Shiny or did a video on Forza? Exactly like probably six years ago. So let's hope that we get an extension to the main story. A sound update. Whether you love the game or hate it you can't deny that a lot of the cars and I mean a lot of the cars sound the same. And why do they sound the same I hear you say? Because the developers are too laid back to differentiate the car sounds. That's a very polite way of calling someone lazy. So as much as I would love for a full on sound update for almost half the cars in the game the least the developers could do is give the sound some differentiation with a little update. Because yes this Dodge Viper ACR does sound like this. But this Viper ACR definitely does not. It's the exact same sound. Yes, it sounds very brutal and glorious, but it's really weird having cloned sounds in the game. And don't get me started on cars like the Apollo IE, Maserati, Gran Turismo, and the FK8 Type R. So developers, if you are watching, please can we have another car sound update? And finally, a map extension. Now, Horizon 4 received two expansions. One was Fortune Island, which was a blatant rip off of Horizon 2 Storm Island, and the other was the Lego Speed Racers expansion, which was yeah. Comparing those to Horizon 3, we got Blizzard Mountain, which introduced snow driving for the first ever time in Forza's history. This was a very different expansion to usable as it made you feel like you were playing a completely different game. And we also got the Hot Wheels expansion, which wasn't childish at all, it was genuinely incredible. And I know how hard, actually I don't know, but I can imagine how hard it would be to design, create, render and publish a DLC expansion for a game like Forza Horizon 4. But I really do feel like we need the third one. The next Forza game is going to be Forza Motorsport 8, and that will most likely be released in 20. 21, meaning the next Horizon game will most likely be released in 2022. So that's two more years of Forza Horizon 4. And it's nearly been two years already. So developers and creative directors, if you are watching, yes, it'll be a very long high effort job, but do consider adding a third map expansion and please make it a good one. <coughs> London, wait, 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 sorry about that, what? And those are 10 updates we all want to see in Forza Horizon 4. If I missed out on any other updates that you guys would like to see, then leave them in the comments down below. Let's try and create a huge wish list of update ideas and ideas to improve the game in the comments down below so we can like feed creativity to our mind what am i saying anyways if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure to leave a like down below those like seriously do help out the channel a lot make sure to subscribe too as i upload this kind of content once every three days on my channel and because i love seeing new faces on my channel building a little subscriber family oh anyways i will catch up with you guys very soon until next time have a good one guys stay safe stay inside until next time Hey, they said they like it when I rap like this So I reckon I'm better off even than that I really be one in a million killing the shit when I hit like a swing in the back Average, you and I rapping like this They're the fuckers I'm gonna back